What's up, AG5? Diego Ribas from New York with the only and one UFC middleweight, middleweight champion, Israel Designer. Thank you for your time, champion. Thank you for having me. What's up, man? Of course. First of all, before talking about the fight, um, I love your, your walkout, walkout songs and performance. Do you have something special for Saturday? Um, the theme's already set, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to walk out and handle business. Any special song? Yes. Can you... No? Secret? It's kind of, you, if, you, if you pay attention, you'll, you'll know what it is. It's, it's kind of already out there a little bit. It's kind of your thing, right? It's part of your legacy, right? Yeah, I mean, this is, this is entertainment. It's a showcase, so. But it's not really for entertainment. I do it for myself. My walkouts is, is personal to me. It, 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 it primes me for, for the fight. My walkouts, they prime me and get me ready into that zone, so I'm activated and I'm ready to, to assassinate. By the way, the last one, Undertaker? was my favorite by oh, really? so far, so far. I appreciate that, thank you. Adesana, let's talk about the fight. I'm from Brazil. Oh, yeah? um, you're gonna fight one of the biggest upcoming stars in Brazil, right? Mm -hmm. And you guys have a beef. Yeah. Do you remember how did it start? If I'm not wrong, you told him, Uvai Mohe, before one of your kickboxing match, right? Yeah. Do you remember how did it start? Um, just energy. The, sometimes people don't like each other, and that's okay. You don't have to like everyone. So me and him just don't like each other, and I'm okay with that. So is it something more personal? Um, no, nothing deeper than that. He don't like me, I don't like him. It's simple as that. That's why we fight. Got it. So how do you see him, Alex Pereira, Puerta, as an MMA fighter? Do you think he? Do you think he? Do you think he earned it, his his spot? I mean, you told before everybody deserves, but do you think he earned it? No, nope. I don't think he's earned it the way I earned my spot. No, nope. if you look at my run at the title, I earned my spot because I fought different styles. Um, but yeah, I cleared the way. I've already beat everyone in top five, top ten maybe. So um, yeah, he he's only here because of me, put it that way. If not, if not for me, he would have had a tougher road to the title. How do you see him as an MMA, MMA fighter? He's learning fast. He's learning fast. I think so. He's um, he's got the the attributes I have, which is reach, um, and size as well. Um, but yeah, he's learning fast. A lot of people are expecting like a kickboxing match with MMA gloves. Do you think there? It's not going to be a kickboxing ma match with MMA gloves, but the striking will be very different in this fight. Very different. Okay, technically, could you elaborate a little bit? What's the difference of fighting him in a kickboxing match than an MMA match? Um, even first off, the, the, the octagon is, <laughs> is a lot bigger, so I can just do my laps. Um, but um, also, the gloves, the, the, the distance, the footwork, yeah, everything's different in MMA. A lot of things are different in MMA, so I can exploit that. I can exploit that because I've been doing this a lot longer. Your footwork, you just mentioned, uh, it's kind of unique for MMA. And when you look back to your, okay, you told, I was watching your interviews and you said like, specifically when you lost by Kyo against Alex, that third round, you're not fighting as we are used to watch you fighting. Can you talk a little bit more technically, why did you change your style in that round? It wasn't really technical, it was more emotional at the time because I let some, some influence from outside uh, get to me. So in that second round, I didn't put him away like I would have. Um, and yeah, the third round as well, same thing. I, I just didn't stay true to my style um, of picking people apart till they fall. I tried to take him out, which was the wrong thing to do. Do you are you concerned that maybe this can happen again? No, nope, not at all. Did you change something in your preparation to five avoid years. that? No, it's been five years. I've grown up a lot. I've grown up a lot. I'm, I've matured. I'm a big boy now. I'm a man. So yeah, I've matured a lot. Looking back to the fight, how close were you to knock him down the second round? Uh, the referee saved him, and he's also, I'll, I'll give him credit, he's got a stone head as well, not just stone hands, he's got a stone head, but you know, I can break bricks, yeah, and I'm not the boy I was then, I'm a big boy now, so if I, when I get the opportunity, I'll break stone. You are going to your defense, title defense number six, if I'm not wrong, right? Uh, seven. Seven. I'm going into title defense number six, this is, I've already had six title defenses. My belt has six rubies, so I'm going for the seventh title defense. My apologies. Number, number seven. Number seven, thank you. Um, thank God. 
Do you speak a little bit more Portuguese? Bad words, only bad words. I like bad words. <laughs> My guy, caralho. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> so, uh, title defense number seven. Seven. Yep. seven. Uh, some of your title defense, people use, I don't know, people, even though you won the fight, yeah, people complain. They complain about, don't you think the they're, how do you see that? Because they're asking you to perform like, knocking people out every single fight, but at the same time you are winning the fights and kind of safe. How do you, how do you approach it's, it's, this? It's not me, um, it's the other guys I'm fighting. Once they realize they can't really touch me or they can't do anything, then they try and survive and they stop trying to win the fight. They want to survive and, oh, well, at least I didn't get knocked out by him. Um, so yeah, same thing happened with Anderson. Come on, Anderson was is, is one of the greatest of all time. The same thing happened at one point when people just They'll try and fight him, and then they realize, oh shit, I'm getting fucked up. Okay, and then they just like, oh shit, let me try and survive. So, so I'm in that I'm in that airspace right now, and I'm great. So, yeah, I plan on being great. Alex, actually, to be honest, he's saying that you don't fight to get the victory; you fight to not lose. And he's fighting to get the victory, so he has he sees that as an advantage against you. How do you see that? I hope he does. I hope he fights to try and win. That's, that's what I expect the fighter to do. That's why I give props to a guy like Brad Tavares when I fought him, because Brad Tavares was fifth round. I was, I was fucking him up all fight. He was still trying to win. He was still trying to fight. That's the kind of guy I want to fight, you know? And uh, he was hard to finish as well, but it was a classic fight because he was trying to fight, you know? But when these guys they, they decide not to try and fight, then it's just like, well, what do you want me to do? Do some stupid mistake just so you can catch me? Fuck no. Um, so yeah, I'm glad he's trying to win the fight, and I hope he does try, try. Do you have any prediction for this fight? Yes. Any round? No. Decision? Maybe. Okay. Uh, Israel, thanks for your time. Let, just sure. let me ask you something, please. Okay, yeah. Send a message for Brazilian fans. My Brazilian fans, obrigado, mucho obrigado, and I can't wait to come back to Brazil with the belt.